Most years, school departments do have to send out a number of pink slips in the spring just in case there is not enough funding for the following year. Here in New London, however, there is a real fear the 65 slips could lead to layoffs. Non-tenured teachers are put on notice in New London. That means literacy coaches as well as a strength and conditioning coach could be laid off. Superintendent Nicholas Fisher spreads the wealth or lack of it among every department and program. Any area where you have to cut people who are involved in instruction can make a huge difference and we're very concerned about that. But he says he doesn't have a choice. He needs a 10% budget increase just to maintain what he has and it looks like he'll get less than 2%. The school systems nowadays are already short-handed enough. Marcy Morgan's son Jaden is in the second grade. She is hoping the city can come up with more money for the school department. The superintendent says parents have to speak up. I think that the public needs to get involved because to be very honest with you, the people that the city council tends to hear from the most are the people who don't want to pay any new taxes. The city's finance department will vote on the budget Wednesday night and then the city council gets it on Monday night. But it may not be until June 30th that the school department knows just how much money it has to work with. That's when it finds out about state and federal funding. We're on the scene in New London. Tina Detell, News 8.